All right, good morning. Let's go over the next four. We have the bad TV filter, the black and white filter, the bleach bypass filter, and the bloom filter. Uh, bad TV is not like 50s TV. 50s TV turns everything black and white and gives real dark lines around everything. Bad TV gives you these weird scan lines. Oh, you know, I got bloom in there already. Let's get rid of that. Bad TV gives you these weird scan lines, causes everything to, uh, what do they call this, tearing. It kind of wiggles side to side. And you can change the blend mode of the static. You also have different kinds of static. And then it will also roll. And I'll, I'll explain roll. Roll can't be used by itself. When you just use the roll, it, it doesn't really work right. And I'll show you why. This is the default settings. We'll go ahead and play it real quick. Okay. You can see how it's kind of wiggly, wavy. It's doing a little bit of tearing. All right, we can turn that amount up and cause it to tear a lot more. Or we can turn that completely off and you get absolutely nothing. You can change your your um, static type. You can kind of see as I go through the different types of static. Remember, these aren't colors. Even though it says white noise, blue noise, pink noise, those are not colors. Those are patterns. Okay, then you have your different... Um, blend modes that you can use and they just affect the way the noise works it's the blend mode of the noise and then you have roll and what roll does is that it rolls the screen from one to the next okay and you have negative 100 zero and 100 percent you can actually go much higher than that it's no big deal but if you just start rolling it, let's say you roll it to 33%, it's going to stay just like that. So you can use that if you want to simulate halfway roll, but a good thing to do with this is to animate it. So if you start it here at the beginning and you put in a keyframe, and at the end you put in another keyframe and go over a couple times, this is what will happen. Detrás de una gran pizza hay un gran pizzero. See that? Okay, that was bad TV. Bad TV copy is, is another one that I started to make and modify, so I'm just going to skip it. We'll go to black and white. Now, black and white does not just desaturate. You can use a hue saturation filter to desaturate. Black and white picks out the channel. It desaturates, but it picks out the entire channel. Um, a real black and white film is done with one of the channels. It uses either the green brightness, the red brightness, or the blue brightness. And so it's the the best way to get a real true dynamic black and white is to basically isolate a channel and just use that. By default it isolates the green channel and the reason it does that is because you get a, a decent skin tone with the green channel and you don't get an overblown anything else it just kind of gives you a good solid um, brightness because most television takes its brightness from the green channel and then the red and the blue are added on there okay and you can turn down the amount if you want but right now this is taking it from the green channel let's make it go The bright green, you can see the brightness has gone up a bit. But let's go, instead of the green channel, this is the pure green channel here. Actually, let me use my sliders. RGB. Okay, that's white channel. Let's use full on 
red channel. I don't know why it won't let it go all the way down. But you can see the skin is really bright. This is really dark. This is nice and bright. Remember, his jacket in the original was red. And this is blue, so it's not going to have any red in it, so it's not going to come up brightness at all. So everything that has a little bit of red somehow in there is going to come out bright. Okay, now let's go with, this is yellow, let's go with green. As much green as possible, it won't let me go down any further. Okay, and you can see since these don't have any green in them, they're going to come out dark and this is going to come out okay. And last of all, blue channel. And now you can see the background is really bright and the rest of it is really dark and that's because the background is full of blue. Okay, so that's the black and white filter. It gives you a better black and white than just desaturating. It's a little more fun. Bleach bypass. I don't know exactly what it is simulating, but I do know that it makes everything look really bright and high contrast, um, especially in these areas. And then it also slightly desaturates some of the colors. Again, you can adjust the amount. And you notice that when you get to about 50, it gets really bright. And then around 60%, no, actually it's a little later, 80%, it starts to make the dark stuff darker. If you turn off the match iMovie, when you get it all the way bright up here, it goes really dingy. So it's kind of fun to use in low quantities. This is a little much. But this is what it looks like. Detrás de una gran pizza, hay un gran pizzero. Okay, let's get rid of that. And let's go with Bloom. Bloom is one of the glow filters. And I really can't get the color thing to work, but the amount kind of blurs out the glow around the edges. So you can see right here, it's kind of getting blurry. See that? Brightness makes it really bright or really dark because you can reverse glow. And threshold adjusts how bright the image is before the glow starts. So these are fun things to mess with. And we can mess with the color a little bit, but it really doesn't do much. I don't see anything happening, even though we're messing with the color. Detrás de una gran pizza, hay un gran pizzero. All right, so those are the filters of Bad TV, Black and White, Bleach Bypass, and Blue. And next time, we will go through and go with Boca Random, Broadcast Save, Camcorder, and Cartoon. This is another copy that I made, so we'll, go, we'll skip it and go to Cartoon. All right, thank you very much for watching.